In this video, we're gonna talk about is the baritone ukulele right for you? I know you got questions. Should I get a regular ukulele? Should I get a guitar? Or should I get the baritone ukulele? Those questions are gonna be answered in this video. Hi, I'm Terry Carter and welcome to Ukulele to Pros. Thank you for all your support and also subscribing to the channel and turning on that bell notification. So I had a couple other videos come before this. One was the standard ukulele versus the baritone ukulele. And then we had one on the five benefits of the baritone ukulele. And today we're gonna to talk about is the baritone ukulele right for you? And make sure to stick around to the very end because I have something very special to tell you about. So today we're gonna to talk about the soprano ukulele, the guitar, and the baritone ukulele because you gotta decide which one is right for me. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the soprano ukulele. The soprano ukulele, of course I could have chosen this concert or the tenor, but I decided to choose the soprano and it also has a high G. So, I mean, they're great, right? I mean, ukuleles are amazing instruments. I'm not gonna lie and say that they're not, but they're somewhat limiting, right? Especially the high G. You got some, some chords you can do, you know, a little bit limited on some of the, the soloing stuff you can do. Um, you know, they're great, they're small in size. They're a little bit small on the, the hand, especially if you're a bigger, uh, maybe taller, have bigger hands, it could be a little bit of a problem for you. They're very trebly sounding, right? So they have that kind of high pitch sound. Um, People still refer to them as toys. They don't take them as seriously, even though there's some players doing some great things out there. But, you know, this is just your standard soprano ukulele. It's great for certain things, but it is also limiting on some aspects. All right, how about the guitar? Maybe you've been thinking about that. I'm just laughing because such a difference going from the soprano ukulele to a just a standard size acoustic guitar, right? This isn't a jumbo. Uh, this isn't a half size guitar. This is just your standard size acoustic guitar. I mean, it's, it's what everyone probably at some point in their life wanted to learn. But they're big, especially the acoustics. They sound great, but you have six strings. Definitely harder to play than the ukulele. You do have that nice range, the lower range because you have the extra strings and you have more bass notes, which allows you to kind of get some of those kind of bass line type things happening. Um, but they're hard to play. I mean, bar chords, they're some of the hardest things to do. I've seen students struggle for a long time, years even, trying to play these bar chords on the guitar. So um, hurts your fingers, hurts your hands. And honestly, a lot of people, maybe they have some wrist injuries or, uh, you know, just don't have the biggest hands, they do really struggle with the guitar. All right, the baritone ukulele. You really kind of get the best of both worlds here. You still have the smaller neck, the four strings, just like the standard ukulele, but you have the lower strings here. So you have the lower strings, you can get some of that bass moving in. You have just a lower bass sound, right? I mean, it's warm sounding, it's big sounding due to, due to the bigger size body, especially than that ukulele I was playing earlier, that soprano ukulele. And it's great right between the guitar and the ukulele. So if you're coming from a guitar, this is a great instrument because the tuning is similar. So your chords, D, A work as well. Or if you eventually want to go to guitar, this is a great place to start and then move the guitar. And then also you can go the other way. So if you start on the baritone and you, then you want to play the soprano ukulele, you're going to play the same chord shapes here, except you just have to learn the new names of them just because the strings and the tuning are different on this baritone ukulele than they are in a soprano concert and the tenor ukulele. But I mean, some of the things that you can do with this baritone are unlike anything you can do on the other ukuleles. All 
All right, so, I mean, it just got a cool sound, right? I mean, yeah, you could play something like that on a tenor ukulele, you could play it on a guitar, but just something cool about this, unique about this instrument. It's different than the other ukuleles, it's different than the guitar, it's the baritone ukulele. And I think that it's a great instrument to not only start on, if you've never even played, it's a great instrument to start on, but it's also a great instrument if you've played the ukulele or play a guitar and you're ready to jump into something that's just a little bit different out there. All right, now, what we've been waiting for here is that there's not a lot of stuff out there on the ukulele, there's not a lot of videos out there, there's not a lot of tutorials out there, there's not a lot of courses out there, and that's about to change. So, real soon, in the next video, I'm gonna be offering up my beginning baritone ukulele course. This is a great, course to teach you all the things that you've been wondering about, all the essentials, all your chords, not all your chords, your chords, your strumming, your scales, but really get you to dive into this instrument, open it up, open up the fretboard, and allow you then to start playing your favorite song, go out to your, your ukulele groups, bring a new sound, bring a new instrument, have a lot of fun, and really, just like I said, get to know this instrument that we call the baritone ukulele. So that's coming up in the next video. I'm very excited. I put my 30 years of teaching into it from playing into this course. I think it's a great course. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love the videos. You're gonna love the tab. You're gonna love the backing tracks. You're gonna love it all. And uh, I can't wait for you to check it out, dive into the course. And uh, I'm anxious to uh, see what you think.